I'm Mark Dwight, the founder of Rickshaw Bagworks in San Francisco. Rickshaw Bagworks is a manufacturer of custom messenger bags, backpacks, tote bags, and assorted accessories. We're uh, getting back to the old-fashioned way of making things here at Rickshaw. We have 22 employees. We have 12 people in our factory doing cut and sew. Our sewing staff is a skilled craft workforce, and so everyone here is an expert sewer. Uh, they've either uh, come here as an expert sewer or learned on the job. We forget we used to have a, a vibrant cut and sew industry here in San Francisco. We're the birthplace of Levi's. Levi's used to manufacture here. For our first two sewers, we ran an ad in the local Chinese newspaper called the Tsingtao Daily. The day that we had our interviews, 450 people showed up at our door. It was madness. That day we selected two sewers from that mass of people that showed up. And ever since then, we've never run another ad. We simply ask our team, does anyone know anybody who wants to sew? I believe there's a renaissance in micromanufacturing here in the United States, and I actually think that's where the next wave of manufacturers will come from, is small factories. I think we have to preserve the big ones that we already have, but I don't think we're going to be seeing big factories start up like they did in the old days. I think uh, the new age is small, nimble manufacturers doing custom work and using today's advanced tools with a skilled operator is, I think, the future of manufacturing in the U.S. I have nothing against uh, the global outsourcing movement. Uh, there are obviously lots of issues around um, you know, social justice and environmental issues. Those are major issues, but I'm not doing what I do to protest that. I'm doing this as a celebration of the fact that I like to make what I sell and that I like to work with a team of people that are craftspeople and designers who want to make products like this right here where we go to work. San Francisco has a very strong cycling culture and you know this whole movement of fixed gear and single speed cycling and now kind of more broadly the urban cycles, we're part of that community and rickshaw itself means human powered vehicle and we thought the name was apropos for a company that kind of lives at the intersection of bags and bikes. There are these things that are almost quintessentially of the place and uh, whether it's Chianti wine or champagne in Champagne region or messenger bags in San Francisco, there's this notion of where the stuff comes from and who makes it. You know, we all live in San Francisco. We live and breathe the San Francisco culture every day and somehow that translates into the products that we make. And I think people are interested in that and they want to know the maker. A fascinating thing about where we are here at Rickshaw is in this neighborhood called Dogpatch. This is the old shipbuilding neighborhood. As a matter of fact, at the end of the street here is the old Pier 70 um, shipbuilding complex. This neighborhood has become the epicenter of the maker movement in San Francisco. And there are chocolate makers, bread makers, beer makers, bag makers, all kinds of maker activity going on in this neighborhood in the old industrial spaces that have been converted into smaller industrial warehouse spaces. You know, a lot of people talk about entrepreneurial studies and how schools are now developing entrepreneur programs, but I think people tend to think of that as the entrepreneur who's going to go start a high-tech company that's going to blast off quickly and get acquired. And I'm here to tell you that there's a whole different side to being an entrepreneur, which is just being a small business person. I'm not thinking about selling that business. I'm not thinking about growing it in the hockey stick fashion. I'm thinking about one thing, and that's making it profitable. How big it is, how successful it is, is really inconsequential when it comes to just running day-to-day -day business and trying to achieve profitability and maintain profitability. It always takes more time, money and effort than you expect. I will also tell you that your business will look different three years from now if you do start a business than you think it does on paper when you start it. It just happens that way. The great thing about starting a business is you get out there, you try your first ideas, you get them on the market, and the market tells you exactly what they think of what you're doing. Once you have a product and you've kind of convinced yourself that there's a market for it and people want to buy it, really the challenge is getting it out there, getting your name out there, at Rickshaw, our only challenge is that not enough people know we exist. We're still a tiny little company, and we hear all the time, wow, I never even heard of you guys. And that's really our biggest challenge. We open our factory up every day to let people come in and see what we do. People ask me all the time, hey, can I take pictures, take a video? 
go for it. Put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter. We want people to see that we're actually making things here. Anyone can take apart my product and have a pattern and remake it. But you know what? Doing it every day, day in, day out, that's the challenge. You know, it really takes wanting to really get passionate about it. And we're very passionate about what we do here. It's uh, what keeps it fun and exciting. It's not for everybody, but it's what we like to do here.